Can I welcome you once more to a Sunday spiritual exercise, the third in this short series. And today we're going to begin and end with the words of a hymn as a prayer about prayer. Let's pray. Eternal spirit of the living Christ, I know not how to ask or what to say. I only know my need as deep as life and only you can teach me how to pray. Come pray in me the prayer I need this day. Help me to see your purpose and your will. Where I have failed, what I have done amiss, held in forgiving love, let me be still. Come with the strength I lack. Bring vision clear of human need. O oh, give me eyes to see fulfilment of my life in love outpoured. My life in you, O oh Christ your love in me. Well, at a time when many people are looking for deeper meaning and direction in their life, many have turned to the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola, who was active in the 16th century. He was a Spanish soldier and after a very severe wound in battle, uh, he began to meditate upon the meaning of his life and he developed a series of exercises. He founded the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits in 1540, and left a series of exercises that were aimed at helping people discern God in their everyday lives. Finding God in all things is the spiritual signature of the Jesuits. And one of the exercises that we're going to follow today is in reading meditatively and imaginatively a passage from scripture. This is slightly different to Lectio Divina that we were looking at last week. Here we just read a passage once, but we break it down into small pieces with silence between in order to help us enter the scene, to imagine that we are there, to empathize with the people involved in the scene and to see how we would react in their position to place ourselves in their shoes, if you like, and to see how the actions and the words of Christ might address us personally in our particular situation today. So that's what we're going to do. And as I've mentioned before, this could be done over a much longer period of time. We're only going to take a few minutes this morning. But we're going to think about that scene uh, as John describes it at the Last Supper when Jesus, in the middle of the meal, uh, ties that towel around his waist and with a bowl of water washes the feet of his friends. So try to see yourself in this scene as if Christ is speaking to you, is looking at you, is washing your feet. We'll begin with some silence and we'll have silence throughout the passage as we break it down into small sentences. We'll begin with some quiet. The reading is from John chapter 13. Try to picture the scene. We're in the upper room. It's late in the evening. During supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself.
Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to Jesus, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Then Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. After Jesus had washed their feet, he put on his robe and returned to the table and said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for this is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, 
you are blessed if you do them. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. As I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Amen. We'll close with those words from the hymn about prayer. Eternal Spirit of the living Christ, I know not how to ask or what to say. I only know my need as deep as life, and only you can teach me how to pray. Come pray in me the prayer I need this day. Help me to see your purpose and your will. Where I have failed, what I have done amiss, held in forgiving love, let me be still. Come with the strength I lack, bring vision clear of human need. O oh, give me eyes to see fulfilment of my life in love outpoured, my life in you, O oh Christ, your love in me.